Hi there, I am turning 22 and this is my manifestation. If you guys do not know who I am, hi, my name is Jesselyn and I do book related videos and other random stuff here on this channel. So yes, I am turning 22, another year into adulthood. <laughs> Now this video, I want to sit down and to be very honest, it's been a while since I last filmed and uploaded on the same day. I stocked up on a lot of video footage to be able to have enough for me to edit and post when my country's quarantine ended and when I had to go back to work. And I really wanted to sit down and talk to you while updating on so many things that have happened for me and that will happen for me and this channel in the future. So while i sip on this tea let's talk first of all i want to say thank you so much for 300 subscribers i i i i still think it's so surreal i mentioned it a while ago here and there but i've never addressed it properly on camera i've been wanting to hit 300 subscribers for the longest time ever since i've had this channel and ever since i came back and so thank you Thank you so much. <laughs> and now, updates. So, okay, so number one, I need to put down my tea. <laughs> I have a lot of things that have happened to me recently. So other than turning older, I voted for the very first time for my country. I mean, nothing big, but just choosing who runs my country. <laughs> Alright, so number one update is I quit my job during a pandemic. <laughs> I still, oh, <laughs> I've never said it out loud, <laughs> but now that I did. <sighs> yes, I don't know if it's coming as a surprise to you, but I have a list of reasons that I think I should address in a separate video. Honestly, if I were to explain about every single detail for everything that I'm gonna mention in this video, we're, we're gonna be talking for an hour long. So, be patient, be patient, the videos will be coming. Yeah, but to give a little bit of insight, I wanted to achieve my dreams and pursue my dreams on a more hands-on level. A little bit, a little bit of a sneak peek that might be something with starting out a business, but you know, we gotta see. We gotta see where that goes. Another update is I am planning to change the name of this channel. After five years, I'm finally doing this. And this requires another video for me to address all the different things. <laughs> I know a lot of times I say that there's a separate video that's coming and probably will make you wait a little longer. That will come soon. I'm actually gonna film that after this. So it will come. It will come. Yeah, and the last update is my room renovation is done it took oh my god it took i think four months for me to finish the entire room also i want to apologize for not making any book specific related videos i honestly have been putting off making book reviews or anything in that because i just want to settle my room first and i don't feel comfortable filming while this whole room is in chaos so for those of you who have been waiting thank you so much trust me i've been reading so much but i just did not have the chance to film and it's coming okay it's coming <laughs> Now, moving on to the topic of the day. Let me get my tea. Okay, manifestation. Recently, I don't know if it came from TikTok or wherever in social media. I keep seeing everyone using the phrase manifesting this or just using the word manifesting or manifestation. I got very intrigued by this. Now, I just want to put it out there that I am in no way an expert into this manifestation law of attraction. I am in no way saying that I'm an expert. I just want to manifest my hopes and dreams for the future. So, yeah <laughs> back to the video manifestation can be confusing or simple at times when i researched it the google definition is an event action or object that clearly shows or embodies something 
abstract or theoretical. Now, what I understand from this is you attract what you project. Basically, what's in your brain being put into your hands. That can mean manifesting your dreams, manifesting your goals. Now, the first question that comes to my mind when I researched about this is, isn't that the same thing as striving for your goals, striving for your dreams? That can primarily mean yes, but this is more into the process. The process of channeling what's in your mind into something that is tangible that you can touch in your hand or something that's happening in reality. Like when I was growing up, I can say that I want to be rich or to be more general, I can say I want to be happy. But all of that to me is the end goal. It is a result that you want to achieve at the end. And honestly, that is what I've been trying to do growing up. To be frank, I started to think about my life goals and what I wish to achieve in life when I was graduating, which was last year. To be honest, I got very confused a lot of times. Like if you were to know me in school or growing up, you too <laughs> will be confused. I went from somewhat excelling in school to going into an interior design diploma to working in Sephora to doing bridal. I think I just never got a clear picture of what I want to do in life. And if you're going through the same thing, trust me, it's normal. As I'm going into my 20s, honestly, there's no rush for a lot of the things that I worry about when I was growing up. I saw a tweet somewhere, someone saying, why do you need to rush to achieve something by a certain age? And that made me question, is it because everyone else has achieved it? Is it because it would be weird if you don't achieve it? So I go back to think about what do I want to do in life. If money, time or age is not a problem, what would be the first opportunity that I would grab? And that opens up to so many things that I want to do right now. That is where the manifestation comes in. I think I've been so stuck to what I think my parents want me to do or what the rest of my friends is currently doing in life. That puts me in this constant bubble of worry of, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So in case you're stuck with me, Girl, <laughs> we got this. We're, we're going through this together, okay? <laughs> okay, so let's write down a list. If money, if time or age wasn't a problem, what would you want to do right now? For me, I want to start a business. I want to have a successful YouTube channel. I want to grow a book community in Singapore. I want to travel. And then I will take those thoughts and ask myself, what would I do? when I achieve those things. Immediately, your mindset will shift, your mindset will change. And for me, when my mindset started to change into thinking about this differently, I started to be so much happier. I started to feel like I'm actually doing something in life. Someone just drove by. Hello, I'm trying to make a serious video. <laughs> Yeah, so I started to envision what makes me happy. Not exactly what I want to be when I grow up, but what is it that I see myself laughing and smiling and doing every day and knowing that I'm closer to what I'm envisioning for myself. Even though it's slow sometimes, sometimes I still wonder if it's a wrong path that I'm taking, but I need to trust the process. You need to trust the process. I <laughs> need to trust the process. I need to keep reminding myself it is to achieve a dream that I envision for myself and one day I will look back to this video and pat myself on the back knowing that I've made it. I'm very sure that that day will come. <laughs> And yeah, that is what I need to let out of my chest and say to myself. <laughs> if you're going through the same struggle, girl, let me let me just hug you. Come on, we, we got this. Okay, we got this. We need to trust in the process, okay? You and me, we, we got this together. <laughs> okay, so that's that for today and I will be back with more bookish content. If you enjoyed this video or my face, please like. <laughs> and if you want to see more videos like this and other random stuff, please subscribe. I will see you in my next video. Oof. Oh, this is Thai McTea, by the way. Oh, my hair is out. <laughs>